Fuck yeah. G'day everyone. Um, bit of a different style to this video I suppose. Still learning how to do it, so I've just downloaded some editing software and thrown it all together, but yeah, uh, very big day. Had all these hedge to trim down, some of them are just absolute trees, but we've got to at least save some of it for firewood and give that to Nana. Um, got this tipper truck um, from a, a friend of mine, being able to help us out. And I'll give them a shout out if we get, you know, more than a hundred views, say, because it's probably worth it. Um, but yeah, no, so we've done a lot of renovation on the, the, that room upstairs. Burnt through three five amp hour batteries, just trimming stuff up. Um, chainsaw hit a bit of rebar inside the hedge yesterday, so that got sharpened up overnight. Um, just a hell of a big job. But uh, we got through it. Uh, I did have a cousin help out as well um, in some of the video coming up with the demolition, but we'll, um, we'll trim him out of it just, just for some privacy, I suppose. But uh, no, nah, we've had a lot of family helping with this, so it's, it's been really, really awesome to have so much support from the ones you hear about. But um, alright, on to the next thing. Boom! So we're just going through the hometown of Renunga here um, on the way to help out with some sheep. Um, this part of the video is sped up by times two, so we actually are driving 50 k's an hour. It just looks a lot faster. But um, yeah, yep, <laughs> one mission to the next, I suppose. So yeah, enjoy a part of the uh, scenery of New Zealand, I suppose, uh, in the rural setting between Renunga and Denali. And um, just around the corner here, we've got this container on your right. That's the shipping container that we'll be putting on the property later on for a little entertainment venture um, we'll get up and into at some stage. But, yeah. Just taking the last of the stuff out of the tipper truck there. Uh, bloody good use for it because we had two full loads of this thing to clear those trees out of that hedge. Um, and then we got the call up to go and help uh, mum and sister with a, with a ram. They've uh, got a ram down from Ross. So, um, yeah, that's, that's mum's hill up there. She has a house all the way up there. Come down, that's a sheep paddock. So when they show up, we'll be helping her wrestle this thing. Apparently it's a bit of a beast. Uh, and we've got these sheep to move across the road here, which can be... Um, a bit of a mission, but they they end up learning what they need to do um, and sort of teach that to the next generation as, as as the sheep move through. So as long as you don't leave it years in between, they're pretty good, and it just keeps the grass down for this guy. Um, but yeah, so we've come through from the dump and just waiting on them to show up with this thing so we can wrestle it. But yeah, pretty much all the big big trees in that hedge are gone now. It's just the little branches and stuff. Um, probably do one trailer out of that, but it would have been eight trailers of mum, of her of her little thing with a cage, versus two loads with this this massive massive truck. So yeah, all good. He's a big boy. You are free. Get on the jump. Get on the jump. <laughs> oh, if he he'd butts one of them straight up. No, he was here no, putting the like, mail. Which one are you going to go for? Well, do we? <laughs> do we have any uh, any mails in that bunch? No. Yeah. Oh, do we send? No, we don't. Well, the weather's got sent away, eh? Yeah. Oh, they're I going straight through, through the fence. Yeah. <laughs> that could do with some patching up. Yeah. Where is he? Look for the nuts. Yeah. yeah look, well, no, look for the guy with the bald balding. He's balding. Balding. John Cranston was a ram. 
He's been headbutting too many other sheep and he's gone oh, gone soft on top. Yeah. That's insane. I'm going to take a photo. There you go, he's digging through. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's digging through. Yeah, no, that'll put a bit of meat on the, on the next generation. <laughs> These ones are still trying to figure out that fucking fence. <laughs> you should just put another gate there, Mum. It's just, yeah. It's, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, nice green See, one of those lambs really needs a bit of a clean up. So I'm just thinking that I might ask um, Ben if he can come in about three weeks, maybe that first week in April. Yep. To maybe shear the lambs, crutch the ewes, and we'll do the last of the vaccinations. Yep. So if I see that, uh, I'm going. Um, yeah. Get the bit of aggro there, Jess. It's a bad plant. It is a bad plant. <laughs> oh, are you videoing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just cut everything. Might make a YouTube series. You right, you right, you right to be on it? Well, you see you us kicking the wall. You want to be on YouTube? <laughs> right, well, I'm going to go take that truck back. Yeah. Can I? Sam's having to go, Roger. I like putting holes in walls, not doors. <laughs> well, that's a hit. Hey, but straight again. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, you accomplished nothing. Did he though? There's one here. Yeah. We got one. There's one here. At some point that leverage just works. One more side wall to go. Sure you don't want to hit him? Try and just rip that jib out off the other side. Here we go. This is all going on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> and we'll just dump it off the edge there. We wanted to get a, uh, a trailer and just ride under there so we could just tip it off with a wheelbarrow, but it's not going to happen. Not with the, um, well, the heat is gone now, but we might be able to. We'll see. See how it pans out. And that silicon did seal up there, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. 
Righto, so end of the, um, what is it, the second day of owning it, but like the third, no, the third day of owning it, but the second day of actually having access to it, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens there, but we've had a lot of improvement. We've had this hedge that we saw in the first video, all the big bits, <laughs> stuck my arm bleed. All these big bits have um, gone away on that chipper truck and it was bloody good. We've got a pile of rubble there from that bedroom. We've um, pretty much fully taken all the jib out now and all the window trim, exposing framework and stuff. This truck, they're going to have a mission getting that out because there's going to be problems with these bits of, bits of wood if they try and take it over that, but take it around that fence post. Yeah, no, I'm just glad it's not my problem. This glad it's, oh, at the moment, it's not my problem. You could you could put it uh, on a, the back of a high ab, um, but my truck driver friend tells me that uh, you've got to get like bracer bars and strapper bars put underneath it, and then it's a hell of a, even without the bushes there to lift it over, um, just putting it on the back of a truck, if it was parked up right there, it'd be a hell of a mission. Um, so, yeah, let's take you upstairs. Um... Yeah. Another thing is that uh, Nana wanted to come by tomorrow, so we've given her a set of keys. Um, she'd love to put a washing line there. <laughs> um, very insistent that we have a washing line, so we'll probably. Well, I think that might have used to be one. Might be able to reuse that. Take these bits of wood out. Um, yeah, we missed the sunset. It's kind of hidden behind cloud the whole time. Not a very good one tonight, but hopefully we'll catch that someday. Uh, but yeah, Nana wants to come through and sand this door down, repaint that, and uh, on the inside of the toilet. Yep, yep, yep. So they've got the toilet here, and uh, Nana's going to redo some of this lino. So that's good. And we've got the door, and you're going to redo some of the stuff here. So that's all cool. Righto. Um, oh, and she even wants to come in and do some of these cupboards. So. Long story short, Nana is amazing. Um, yeah, we could show you inside that room tomorrow, but for now, uh, we've got to go. So, catch us!